James Longstreet, the old war horse. Born January 8, 1821, James Longstreet was the fifth child of James and Mary Longstreet. At the age of 12, his father died of cholera, and Longstreet's mother relocated the family to Alabama. In 1838, Longstreet attended West Point Military Academy. During Longstreet's attendance at West Point, he befriended a young Ulysses S. Grant. In 1842, Longstreet graduated from West Point, 60th, out of the class of 62 fellow cadets. In that same year, Longstreet was promoted as a second lieutenant and assigned to the 4th U.S. Infantry. For the next four years, Longstreet was stationed in the West until the outbreak of the Mexican-American War and was reassigned to the 8th U.S. Infantry. During the Mexican-American War, Longstreet continued to serve with the 8th U.S. Infantry. It is a strong opinion of historians that it is here that Longstreet learned the advantage of taking a defensive position and forcing an opponent to attack said defensive position. Longstreet also took part in the most significant battles of the Mexican War, which were the capture of Veracruz, the Battle of Cherubosco, and the Battle of Chapultepec. The Capture of Veracruz Veracruz was a key port and stronghold for Mexico. On March 9, 1847, a force of 10,000 U.S. troops landed on Colorado Beach, just south of Veracruz. Part of this attacking force was the 8th Infantry, which Longstreet was still assigned, along with his good friend George Pickett. The American ground force received covering fire from the U.S. Navy. From there, the U.S. troops moved north and began their engagement against the defenses of the city. On March 22nd, the combined artillery of the fleet and army initiated the bombardment of Veracruz. After three days of constant artillery fire, Veracruz walls were finally breached. After a two-week siege, the Mexican army ultimately surrendered their arms and the city to American forces on March 28, 1847. After the battle, Longstreet received a promotion for his actions during the battle. The Battle of Charabosco The Battle of Charabosco was fought five months later on August 20, 1847. The U.S. troops were confronted with dislodging the Mexican forces from several heavily defended positions. The Mexican general ordered his subordinate to cover the retreat by occupying a fortified convent town and river crossing at the village of Cherubosco. American forces soon arrived and began the attack on Cherubosco, but were checked by its defenders. The American troops regrouped and continued attacking the Mexican defenses throughout the day. The Mexican officer in command realized the imminent defeat and quickly retreated. The Battle of Cherubosco neutralized 10,000 Mexican troops and resulted in the loss of 1,000 American troops either killed, wounded, or missing. It is important to mention this battle due to the tactics used by the Mexicans. Defend a position on the high ground and force the enemy to attack you. This was a tactic greatly favored by Longstreet during the Civil War. The Battle of Chapultepec The Fort of Chapultepec was an imposing structure, a large castle-like building that towered over the surrounding plain. American General Scott ordered American General Pello and his 2,500 regulars to lead the assault from the west while another 2,500 American troops attacked from the south to cut Chapultepec off from reinforcements. Inside the castle-like structure, the Mexican force numbered around only a thousand men, too few to successfully defend the fort. The U.S. artillery began their bombardment of the Mexican position for more than a day. On September 13, 1847, American forces rushed the walls, including part of the 8th Infantry, which Longstreet was still assigned. During the battle, Longstreet was carrying the regimental colors. While charging up the slope of the fort, 
Longstreet, still holding the colors aloft, took a terrible wound to his thigh. In pain, he passed the regimental colors to his friend Pickett, who then proceeded to charge up the hill. The Americans finally captured the lower defenses of the fort and gained the walls. Soon after, Chapultepec fell. The serious wound that Longstreet took would take him out of the remaining engagements of the Mexican-American War. After the Mexican-American War, James Longstreet and his family were stationed at a military outpost in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where he was assigned as the outpost paymaster. Upon hearing word of the secession of the southern states, Longstreet resigned his commission from the United States military and not long after joined the Confederate Army.